Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we'll see how to install apps such as WhatsApp, Telegram, or any other apps in your emulator or AVD. Also, we call Android virtual device in your Android Studio environment. So let's begin. We'll just start Android Studio, uh, and uh, yeah, you you can start a project also. That's also fine. You can go to new project and create a project. Otherwise, from this interface also, you can go to this virtual device manager over here. And even once you log into the Android Studio, then also you can go to this AVD uh, device manager from your tools menu. And uh, over here, uh, I have a few of the uh, 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 virtual device emulators already installed, uh, which is Pixel 6, Pixel 4 for API 33 and for API 32 for Pixel 4. You can create a new device also by going to this button and then uh, using whichever you want and next, next, next. I've shown these steps. Uh, in my other video, uh, the previous video, the link for which I will be putting in the description below and also over here. Now if I proceed further, you can just click on this button to start the emulator. It will come up. So, I can, this I can minimize. It may take a while to load. And, uh, yeah, so, yeah, so my pixel is, the phone, everybody is starting. One point I would like to note here, uh, by default, uh, uh, some of these devices may not have app stores, Google uh, Google uh, Play, uh, Play Store, not the app store, sorry, uh, Google Play Store, uh, by default, install, because when you create device, there are two options which you will get, and uh, one is like, say, for example, if I choose, um, uh, yeah, uh, this one, so there is a Play Store option, but however, for some of them, they are, it's not there. So I've shown in my other video for the link for which is in the description folder uh, in my previous uh, video that how to get this Play Store icon or Play Store option enabled in your uh, OS. So please go for that one. Once you have this Play Store option over here, uh, just click on this. For the first time, if you have still not logged in, it may ask you to log in using your uh, credentials. And I have done it using my uh, yeah programmable uh, credentials to log into this uh, device. If not, then you can of course go to your Google account and uh, log in, or even you'll get a sign in button and just sign in uh, using your Gmail or any of the Google account. Now you can of course uh, install from there also, or you can just search WhatsApp and install WhatsApp. Of course. Uh, probably let it install in parallel. I'll also search something else, say for example, Telegram. Yeah, yeah. So this can be used to install any app. And in fact, uh, maybe as if you want uh, your apps, your this mobile apps, to work on your desktop machine, so this could be one of the a good way to do it. Uh, like you have an emulator, uh, AVD device running on your desktop uh, machine, and you can use this uh, to run your uh, mobile apps yeah so whatsapp will come up this is still installing telegram nevertheless and more oh uh, yeah it also depends installation on your network speed your your device network speed and over here you can do next language you can select agree and continue and then it will allow to send notification allow and then over here you can give the number phone number to which your whatsapp is associated so let's skip this part yeah but here you give the whatsapp number the sms comes uh, one time password on your actual device of course the sim uh, the otp will not come on this device and then you can log in similarly if i go here uh, for my telegram uh, i'm pretty sure the steps are the same i'm not sure why it's taking so long it should have been done by now let me click here and see what's happening so it's uh, almost 99 percent done of the download is 33 mb and i'm pretty sure soon it will be 100 percent so let me go back yeah it's now installing so let me go back uh, actually let me use this back button as well yeah install so if i open this telegram app and the concept will be similar so select two years i start messaging just say okay uh, allow to to make phone calls i will rather say not to allow because what it will happen is if you allow to make phone calls or read sms uh telegram will try to do the authentication uh, on this device however your actual sim is not on device it's on your uh, actual phone of course and uh, you may 
want to enable this device using the OTP, one time password which comes on your actual device. So just do no and then give your phone number, say for example you are Afghanistan, Albania, whichever country or US or India for that matter. Yeah, so just select your country from this list and give your number and then yeah, the user starts for us. So that's all. I will not show the login process here, but that's very much straightforward. Once you have these apps, you can log in the way you do it on your actual phone. Uh, yeah, so that's all. Uh, one point I will just want to repeat here that make sure this Play Store icon is there, uh, otherwise, you won't be able to install. And for that, refer to my uh, uh, previous video, the link for which is given in my uh, description below. That's all. I hope this video is useful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, then please put in the comment section. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.